Hey guys, this is Bumblebee85 coming at you again with another video review. This time it is, again, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Santa Jack from Diamond Select. This is the second series of figures. They've The first series contained uh, a regular Jack Skeleton, uh, Oogie Boogie, and a Sally. And the third wave, if you catch my other two reviews, I've already done uh, Dr. Finkelstein, The Mare, and now this is the third one in the set, Santa Jack. So he comes in this big old bubble box here. And uh, I picked this up uh, at my local comic book shop, Freak Show Comics. They've been kind enough to hold them for me. And uh, each week I went in and I picked one up and each of them matched $30 Canadian. So the prices are competitive and uh, they're really good hookup. So if you're looking for more of these, you can definitely pick them up at Free Show Comics. Now, this is the box. I like the the, the art. It's not. Uh, it doesn't look like the show or the movie. Actually, it's uh, drawn. So it's kind of kind of cool. And here's the back of the box. As I said before, I've already done the review of the mayor and Doctor Finkelstein. And this is Santa Jack over here. And I'll zoom in here. This is the same bio that was on the first uh, Jack Skellington box. And uh, down here it tells you that it comes with a part to form Town Square and who was sculpted by. So he comes with a few accessories, so we'll get him out of the packaging and we'll see what he's like. Also, just a quick note, make sure you uh, stay to the end of my video after the credits. I have a little enjoy the play segment uh, with a quick stop motion featurette featuring the toy that I am reviewing. So make sure you stick around to the end of that. But anyway, on to the review. Okay, here's Jack out of the packaging. Now, it's not much of an improvement over the original figure. Uh, with the joints for sure they're fragile um, but they're there and there's a decent amount of posability thanks to the the stand that he comes with which also has a great deal of posability but uh, first I'm gonna go over the accessories that he comes with uh, he is looking mighty fine the sculpt is great on him but uh, the pieces he comes with Dr. Finkelstein also came with a piece of this cobblestone and now you can connect the two pieces together. Um, but what I've found, the, these pieces um, don't really line up anywhere. Like the step doesn't line up there side by side. Or even there. Like the, the steps are crooked and like maybe there are going to be because it says build the town, uh, the town square. Maybe with the next wave, they're going to come with the other other two pieces so that maybe it, it fits together in like that, and then the other two fill in those cheese slices there. Not sure, but it does come with these little black uh, peg type things. You just slide them up in there like so, and it comes with four of them. You just plug it. There's four different spots, and you can plug them in. You really only need to use two of them because then you just slide the other side in, and uh, just nice and tight there. And there you go. They're connected. Uh, definitely painted differently. This one even has like a shine to it or a wash. Well, they both have washers, but this is a shiny one compared to this side. It's like a duller, it's like dull no shine to it. Under, underneath it has the shine. So they are definitely two different pieces so hopefully they they work out and like I said it comes with four you can use them. So I don't know if they're making a circle maybe they're not making a circle maybe there's other pieces but uh, I actually had to go back and in my Dr. Finkelstein I didn't even notice that it came with four pegs also I nearly just throw these things out all the time because uh, Diamond Select doesn't really show you too much in their pamphlet. It shows the Series 1 figures, Series 2 figures, their collection, uh, dolls with the real clothing, 
and all their mini mates basically so nothing fancy about that that does go in the garbage but on to the more accessories that uh, he had comes with comes with this big Santa sack all stitched together it's uh, painted like a green and there is uh, let's see if we can focus on some of the detail the stitch in there it's got a nice line through the the stitch comes with an open top it's really solid it's pretty hard it has a flat enough bottom that you can stand it up so it can stand up it can lay down however you like to uh, display that then it also comes with two presents one is wrapped in this Halloween wrapping paper which is kind of cool it's got little happy pumpkin faces on it the orange is painted on over the black so it is nice that the ribbon actually is protruding from the the box, it's the, the gift itself, the same with this this box here, it's a nice black and white um, box with the black ribbon painted on generally the same idea, just a square gift then he comes with these two heads that the kids open on uh, Christmas uh, there's a little zombie head and a skull head with uh, some holly attached to the head there nicely detailed, they, I remember them looking exactly like that the kid opens up the gift and holds it by the hair and screams and whatnot. but then he, here's Jack himself and uh, he would not stand by himself if it didn't come with this stand so thankfully he comes with these black stands so did the first release Sally and Jack both came with the stands so let's take a little closer look at the stand itself just plugs into his back he's got one hole there in the back put Jack down there and then the stand also like it plugs into the base they come separate in the package then it has joints here and then you can also turn it same here you can also turn it and here and here are the same now you can even take away sections if you wanted a shorter stand you can take away this section you can have that you can add this piece to this so that you have an even shorter stand so you have a lot of different options for the stand to get Jack into many uh, different poses so that's the stand so that's all his accessories now on to Jack himself not bad I don't like the face the face sculpts that we're getting are actually different than the ones on the back of the box it shows Jack um, basically with the same face sculpt if you can tell as the first release uh, well on the back of the first release box they share the same face sculpt but then we get a different sculpt on the actual figure itself now his mouth is open a little more um, compared to well the first Jack release didn't even have an open mouth he just had a grin so he comes with this beard and it is glued on it is a separate piece but it's glued on I believe yeah it's glued on there now he's got like the the smaller eyes he's got the hat which is also uh, glued on there you can even see some of the shiny glueness in underneath around the neck but it's a hard plastic solid hard plastic and then he does have a little bit of movement yeah the beard obviously gets in the way and so does the hat so he's got a ball jointy neck with some movement in there and then he's got all these joints are exactly the same he's got one two three four so eight of these joints and they're all used in all his knees and hips elbows and shoulders so they all have a range of movement up down and they rotate and they spin around and they easily they just peg in they're on these little pegs basically the same as the the figure stand itself it's all incorporated the same kind of joints 
Now he does also have this midsection joint here. He's got a little. He can actually. These arms are. <laughs> he's got a little rotation at the the midsection there. It's kind of like a ball joint. He does have some pivot in there also. Now, the pegs are just the feet or the hands and feet are just also on these pegged materials. So there's no ball joint in there. They are just pegged right in there. So be careful pulling them in and out. You don't want to lose the end of the peg inside the figure, uh, which I almost happened to do with uh, his right, uh, his left hand. But his feet are also just on this peg. They just peg right in there. There's and they will also rotate obviously the hands rotate too so taking a closer look at his costume here it's, he's all red now the, the joints are a different red than the actual plastic made for his limbs and his chest piece is matching more towards his hat but he does have this black belt which wraps all the way around and it has a nice little silver buckle on there and he does have the coattail coming down the back, which is a softer plastic, obviously, and not poseable, but it, it just sits, they just sit there, like so. Uh, his hands, nice, uh, they are definitely, you gotta be careful with the hands. They are actually molded in red, painted white, and the lime black painted on there, too, for the joints. Let's see if you can see that, yeah. I've got some chipping there showing the red underneath where he's got some bloody hands. He does have these fuzz balls there and there. Sorry, it's hard to focus on him. He's so lanky. Camera just goes right by it. But then his boots yeah, are just black. Definitely paint, they're painted black also. You can see some red poking in through there. Now, I'm going to try and measure him with uh, a tape measure here, holding him flat. He comes to nine inches tall, if you can see all of that. He's nine inches tall with the top of his hat. And uh, he does have a nice wingspan of, his wingspan is also uh, nine inches, so he is as wide as he is tall. But you definitely have to use this figure stand. You just plug it in the back there. Wedge it in. And they are loose just like all his elbows and his knees. Sometimes you just look at them and he likes to fall apart. As other people have said. But you definitely need the stand to have him stand at all. Definitely, when you get him in a stand, that's the best way is not to fiddle with him. Get him there and make it look as best as you can. And uh, that's what you get, really. Now, here's a closer look with his counterpart here, the regular Jack Skeleton. I have him standing on this, the space that he came with, uh, stepping up on the tombstone. Kind of like I'm having. He's walking over the tombstones. Let me bring in the other characters here for some comparison. There's Sally with her display base. Here's an Oogie Boogie. Basically, a static pose. He can move his arms and his head. Uh, and he's got a chest movement, but you, you really only get him in the one decent pose. Here's the mayor, and here's Finkelstein. So overall, it's a cool little setup if you get them all. And I don't know what they plan on doing with this uh, cobblestone piece here. A little interesting. Um, but hopefully it goes together. I have the Diamond Select Ghostbusters building too. Hopefully that building goes together relatively nicely compared to... Uh, what this is. So that's the whole gang, both series, all six figures, and uh, all the different accessories. There's Sally's 
stand. Sally comes with this bonus piece here to make her sit. Kind of cool. But yeah, now I have some extra stands and whatnot. But not a bad figure, and I picked them again up at Freak Show Comics for $30. <laughs> I, is he worth thirty dollars? Maybe not, with the the fragileness of him. But the collect and connect. Hopefully, there's a little more showing off with the next wave of figures if they even do another wave of figures. So I I kind of hope they do, but I hope they improve on it just a little bit. Um, I know he's lanky and skinny and there's really not much you can do, but they could have maybe had these joints have to stick in and stay in a little bit better than they do. So, yeah, very uh, fragile characters. But then you have some pretty heavy and thick characters in, mixed in with it also. So if you can get these on a discount at all, I would definitely pick them up, but... Uh, unless you're a diehard collector, thirty dollars Canadian is kind of pushing it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what these are going for in the states. But anyway, that's my video review on Santa Jack from Diamond Select, the Nightmare Before Christmas action figure. Go out and check out Freak Show Comics. And uh, get hooked up. All right, this is Bumblebee Eighty Five saying, enjoy the play. boogie for the weather. Thanks, Jack. Hey, gang. This December, we're going to have this Arctic air come swooping in. It's going to be frigid. It's going to be cold. We're going to get snow. We always do. So make sure you kitties bundle up out there. Wear your boots and your mittens. I don't want anyone getting frostbite. You hear me, caravan? Oh, wait. What's this? I hear we have some breaking news. Or do you, Jack? Christmas is coming! On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Seven swans a-singing, six geese a-laying, five golden rings Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a pond.